Hey, I'm Jacob Rice. I'm a photographer at Iowa State University. I work for the Iowa State Daily Newspaper and Cyclone Athletics. I was recently selected to attend the 2023 NCAA Photos Sports Photography Workshop at the Final Four in Houston. Within this photography workshop, 12 student photographers and young professional photographers can come down to Houston, shoot the NABC Reese's All-Star Game, the four media practices before the Final Four, meet with professional photographers, do portfolio reviews, get advice from people who have been in the industry for many, many years, build relationships with one another, and get real-world experience in the sports photography industry. I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am to share my experience with you and give you a little bit of behind the scenes into what goes on in this workshop. After landing in Texas, I learned two very important things. After a long Uber ride, I checked into my hotel. And here's my view. It is the first day of the NCAA Final Four Photography Workshop. Um, it's like 9.20 something a.m. and our first meeting is until 5. So I think I'm going to finalize my photography portfolio that I have to present to them. Uh, it's like 25 to 35 images. I'm going to be staying with Tyler McFarland, um, Boise State photographer. Great stuff. I'm hoping that, you know, things just go well. Uh, I think this is a crazy opportunity to get my work out there and, you know, uh, mingle with other photographers and build relationships. Yeah. I went to Target and picked up the essentials. Once the other student photographers and professional photographers arrived, we all introduced ourselves and just started talking. It was super chill and definitely not as serious as I thought it was going to be. Not that it wasn't professional, but it was chillax. It was just a discussion of 24 photographers. When I got to the Marriott, I realized I was completely unprepared. Not necessarily as in I didn't have the stuff ready that I needed, but in the way that I was not emotionally or mentally prepared for what was about to come. By no means was it a negative experience. I was just not ready to have my ego checked. During my portfolio review, I was told that the content that I had in it was repetitive. And he was right. Everything I had in there was centered as hell and didn't necessarily communicate what was happening. We had a roundtable discussion where there was about 11 or 12 professionals in the photography industry telling us their stories and their experiences and what they do for work. We had two people from Canon there. Crazy, right? We had several Getty Images photographers, we had the president of NCAA Photos, we had sports team and university photographers, and we even had seasoned professionals who have shot the Olympics. It was insane getting advice from them and hearing their stories and them just telling us about their lives and how photography has changed everything for them. After the roundtable discussion, there was an optional media party. Obviously, I went, because free food and connections. While at the media party, I had an absolutely horrific time with the food, not the people. I had what is known as crawfish mac and cheese. It wasn't for me. After mingling, eating a lot of food, and just generally hanging out, I decided to head back to the hotel. I had a big day ahead of me, so I needed some sleep.
Tyler and I headed out, got an Uber, and headed to NRG Stadium. I know, right? Basketball at a football stadium, it's, it's weird. After getting settled in the media room, we talked to the Canon representatives, who'd be teaching us how to use our cameras. The event was sponsored by Canon, so we got to use Canon R6s and R5s, and a plethora of Canon EF and RF lenses. I kid you not, the 300mm is a beast. This was my battle station. Can't forget the media meal, pasta, and broccoli. Then it was time to get back to shooting. I think I shot about 6,000 images, way too much. That one. Let's go. Just like that, it came to an end. The events were over, we had to turn the photography gear, edit our photos, turn them in, head back home. Honestly, that was pretty sad. Just kidding, here's some footage of me having fun on the court after the game. But for real, I had to take it all in and just enjoy the moment, cause next morning, I'd be heading home. And I had to end the night with hot chicken. And then it was time to check out and leave. Uh, uh. Once I got to the airport, I had to take a train to the right terminal. Never had to do that before. Des Moines Airport is tiny compared to this place. I got some Jack in the Box for breakfast. Would not recommend. I think these stuffed animals sum up Iowa pretty perfectly. Then it was time to go home. And here I am. I'm home. <sighs> For real, this was an amazing experience and I could not recommend it more. It was absolutely incredible getting to experience a professional humongous style event as a sports photographer getting to meet people in the profession get advice get portfolio reviews make connections among other student photographers and just generally get a feel about what this career is like if you are at all interested in sports photography and think it could be a future career for you please 
submit an application at the next NCAA photo workshop. And if you get in, enjoy every second, please. It'll go by like that.